Trending Manufacturing is sponsored by the OPEN Regional Collaborative and Youngstown State University's College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Today we are debuting one of our major focuses for the new year, Trending Manufacturing. It's a new comprehensive segment in the print edition and in the Daily Buzz. In our first report, Dan O'Brien and videographer Michael Moliterno put the spotlight on Humtown Products, the Columbiana pattern shop leading the transition to additive manufacturing. Here on the floor of Humtown Products, workers are busy creating molds from highly pressurized sand for use in the foundry industry. Customers will then pour metal into the mold to cast components for automobiles, rail cars, and aircraft, just as it's been done for years. If you can dream it, you can print it. Mark LaManche is the president of Humtown Products, and he's looking to put his company at the forefront of the foundry industry. It's very exciting, uh, the changes, because it's moving so much more from traditional to where in 1990, where we did the CNC, and it was subtractive manufacturing to now where it's so much more efficient to move into the 3D printing. Today, many of Humtown's products are still made using subtractive manufacturing. In this case, an automated machine chips away at a solid piece of plastic to create the desired shape. The process creates a lot of waste and can be expensive. In many cases, tooling for an engine could be somewhere or upwards towards a half a million dollars. And when they make that, all that tooling to make that part, they could come to find that for some reason it doesn't work. To solve that problem, La Mancha purchased and installed a Fortis 360 3D printer. Now, Humtown can bypass the tooling process altogether by printing parts in 3D. When you look at a cost of a half a million dollars in 20 or 24 weeks to build that tool, and you can actually turn this prototype around in less than two weeks, it, it's a very exciting concept. And, instead of creating tools which have to be stored, new products can be saved as digital files waiting to be sent to a printer. There's no tools to break, there's no setup, the part's actually printed, and that's why the timeline is so much shortened and you're not having all these materials that have to be thrown into landfills. You actually are putting each part of that material product right into the part. They're glued, and then she puts a leading compound in. Now, La Mancha wants to share the benefits of this new technology with others. Humtown is part of a consortium that includes the Youngstown Business Incubator, Youngstown State University, the University of Northern Iowa, the American Foundry Society, X1 Company, and Janey Capital. The group recently was awarded $1.3 million in funding to promote the use of additive manufacturing. We're very excited on how we can help all the people in the foundry industry see the benefit of these machines. And in doing so, La Mancha hopes to prepare them for nothing short of a revolution in the way people manufacture products. It will be one day where there's a factory of just these machines sitting there and printing them and, and us retraining our industrial athletes to, to become uh, programmers and to support the technology and the, and the high performance maintenance of those machines. You can read more in the February issue of the Business Journal. For the Daily Buzz, I'm Dan O'Brien. Experience additive manufacturing and state of the science excellence in STEM education. Experience Y, Youngstown State University.